Okay, let's uh, take a look at this topic. Determine a null and alternate hypothesis. And um, get over here. The um, only symbols we can put on H1 are less than, greater than, or not equal to. Only symbols we can put on H0 are less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to. Now, when you read a problem, you have to decide whether they're talking about um, mean or, or something else. Um, Independent consumer group publishes findings of lifetimes of electric bulbs manufactured by a big corporation approximately normally disputed with a mean of 680, standard deviation 123. Big corporation claims that the standard deviation, so the claim here is based upon standard deviation. Now, standard deviation is a little O uh, with the flip, uh, that's lowercase sigma. So that's the symbol we're going to be using. Okay, claims that standard deviation of its electric bulb is less than 123. Okay, so these are sigmas. Now their claim is that it's less than 123. The only place you can put a less than is on H1. So that's less than 123. Now these are opposites of each other. If this is less than, this will be greater than or equal to. And that would be our null, uh, the first one's H0, that's our null, and H1, which is our alternate hypothesis. So I come here, and I want to choose the greater than or equal to. I click here, put my symbol. Uh, maybe I have to do the symbol first. Unless I didn't click it. There, I don't know what I'd click. And 123. And click here and do less than. Click on that, put my sigma and 123. And correct, and I'll say more practice. And let's take a look at this one. Remember, never changes. The only symbols you can put on H1 are less than, greater than, or not equal to. The only symbols you can put on H0 are less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to. Uh, records of a casualty insurance company show in this past as clients have a mean of 1.8 accidents per day with a variance of 0 0.0025. The actuaries of the company claim that the variance, now variance is sigma squared. Um, let's see, claim that the variance of the numbers per days is no longer equal to 0 0.0025. No longer equal to means uh, not equal to. Only place you can put not equal to is on H1. So it'll be on not equal to 0 0.0025. These are opposites to each other, so if this is not equal to, this will be equal. And those would be our null and alternate hypothesis. And as I come here, this would be my equals. And come here and um, put my exponent there and then um, sigma squared 0 0.0025. This one's a not equal to. Sigma squared. You can see there's a different order you can do those. Two five. Okay. Um, let's do one more. Again, uh, no. You very hard to hear me say it now. <laughs> the only, the only, the only symbols you can use on H1 are less than, greater than, not equal to. The only symbols you can each use on H0 are less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal to. 
Okay, Human Resources Department of a large investment bank now sent the number of people in interviews monthly has a mean of 115 and a standard deviation of 16.4. The management of the bank suspects that the standard deviation exceeds 16.4. Standard deviation again is sigma. Exceeds means greater than. And the only place you can put a greater than is on H0. So that's greater than 16.4. These are opposites each other, so if this is greater than, this will be less than or equal to. So, come here, do my less than or equal to, sigma, and uh, what did I say, 16.4. Less than or equal to, then the other one is a greater than. Sigma and 16.4 and then check. And that's um, how you determine your null and alternate hypothesis for a test of. And I know that's cutting that off, but uh, it could be uh, population variance or standard deviation. Uh, the same principle will hold true with the mean. So if you had a problem dealing with the mean, uh, the only thing that's different is that you'd have mu here as your first symbol. 